I had so much fun, like I spoke a lot about me, about myself, about my work, about my mission in this life and uh, judges had only one opportunity to ask me just for one question. It was so funny. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. Vibrations. Positive vibrations I can bring. I can uh, bring positive and like an artist I can bring some part of my art, I can show my paintings and uh, so many things I can explain because uh, each of my painting has a very deep story and uh, it's much more than just a picture. It's like a, it's like a life, it's much more than just art, it's energy abstract. Thank you so much. It's uh, you kind of relieving because I was a little stressed, of course, because I just wanted to do it very well. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of uh, nervous because I didn't know what the questions would be. I was like curious about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it went like very well for my feeling. I hope they understood me well mm -hmm. and I answered their questions like they wanted to. And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of proud of what I did there and I hope um, this whole adventure can take me to a beautiful place at the coronation night. I'm gonna miss a lot, but for sure the hospitality and the friendly people, because this is so different from Belgium. I mean, Belgian people are friendly too, of course. But here when you enter, everyone's smiling, everyone offers you their uh, gently, their things, they are so friendly, you're feeling, it feels like home. I mean, I've been here for four weeks and I miss home, of course, I'm gonna be glad to go back. But this period went like, it's like I'm here for one week because I just enjoyed it so much and everyone's so friendly. I never had the feeling like, oh, I wanna go home. No, never, I, I would rather like stay one more month extra or something really. It's I'm gonna miss everything about it and I hope I can re-come like really fast. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. I feel good because it was better than I expect. <laughs> uh, questions were great and um, I don't know. I love that time. <laughs> Whole Philippines. Whole Philippines. I fell in love in the Philippines. I fell in love in the food. I fell in love in the islands. See everything, so I will miss you very much. <laughs> yes, I love you so much, and please vote for me on Miss Earth uh, Officer official page. Give me a like to to let me be in top 80. Thank you so much. Love you. Uh, hello, How my was name it? is Ksenia Sarna. I represent Crimea. My interview is a very special question. It's for Crimea, it's for Russia, it's a Black Sea, and the Olympic champion and this uh, your people friendly is your Philippines you visit you very nice your country is very friendly it's very uh, amazing because the interesting country okay, um, thank you, so thank you much. Thank you. I uh, was good that I did a good job I think the questions weren't um, difficult yeah, they weren't difficult, they were really easy, but maybe too short, <laughs> yes. Like I said before, I wanted to tell maybe more, but that's the way it is. It's a lot of girls, we can't brag like 10 minutes, so I think it's really good. What is your uh, favorite place? Uh, Palawan. We were to Palawan, but uh, we had a lot of activities, so we didn't really have time to go to beach and everything. But that little time that we were there, I was so amazed and we were to some islands, uh, German islands. It was like heaven and I am sure to say that it is the most beautiful place I've ever been to. So of course, I would recommend it and I'm, I hope that I will also come back. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, I feel, I feel, I feel good. Like I think I spoke well. Just uh, at the end, there was a little bit silence. So I think I, I hope that it's fine. <laughs> well, uh, so far uh, it's uh, a Burakai because we had amazing opportunity. Like You're nine lucky of us. to be there. Yes, we had amazing opportunity to be in uh, opening ceremony in Burakai. So it was amazing. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure that all of us are very excited about our coronation night. So please watch us 3rd of November. You will do our best and uh, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Thank you so much. It was very intimidating, um, as I said before, because all, all the other pre-judging uh, competitions, you know what you can. 
you know what you're going to do, you know that you have to do this catwalk and you have to smile or do with the no makeup. But this one, the only thing you know is the 40 seconds you will re represent yourself and all the other things you just have to figure something out in the moment you get asked because these four minutes really, really goes fast. So, yeah. Um, I think that I have been to Palawan and I just saw the beach there and it was so so beautiful but unfortunately I didn't have enough time to enjoy the beach so I must say that the place I have been where I think was most beautiful was at Katanawan Cove. Beautiful beautiful beach, beautiful beautiful water. Um, <coughs> very very similar to, uh, to some of the islands I have visited in Thailand which I love this turquoise water we don't see that much in, uh, in Europe so it is really really nice for me yeah. to see that. Uh, thank you so much for your visit. I, it didn't go the best. I tried my best. I don't feel too well today but I've, um, I've come today. I'm still happy <laughs> and I think you can learn from these experiences and you can always gain more confidence. Q&A yeah. round so I signed up to um, a lot of petitions. I'm in contact with um, Angie Leedsom, she's the leader of the House of Commons. So I've been working with her on a few different things. I try to educate myself on all different subjects, but you never know what you're going to be asked, so it's always something different. So um, if you want to watch um, the coronation night, um, it's live on, on the Fox on the 4th but the show is 3rd of November and it's 8pm if you want to join us. And I think there's some complimentary tickets, first come, first serve, so hope to see you guys here. Thank you. Uh, I think it was good, I tried my best to reply to, uh, to the question, to well reply and to explain really my mind and what I think of Homer Hurt. So I think it was very good and I, now I cross my finger to be in the top 18. So <laughs> Favorite far, place? Yeah. Uh, I really love Isabella. Isabella. Wow. Yes, I really love Isabella because there is it's a beautiful scenery, it's beautiful landscapes, and people are really, really friendly. And I tried for the first time of my life to work boarding, and it was just amazing. But uh, Albay also, it was very good. People are so kind, and it's very difficult to choose. Maybe because we are staying more, more, we stay more days in Isabella, like in Albay, but. People in Alba are so, so amazing. I think I love all Philippines. <laughs> it's too difficult to choose. Well, thank you so much. Alice. Thank you. I feel I could have talked so much more. The short, the time was too short to tell everything about my knowledge and what I know. And yeah, so I wish I would have like 20 minutes to talk all about my environmental advocacy and to talk what I want to bring better to our uh, to our world because four minutes is not enough to bring it to the point. Actually I'm not nervous actually I'm really really excited and I just can't wait to stay on stage to represent my country and um, yeah I already tried my best during the whole pageant so I will also try my best over there and Yes. Thank you so much. It, was, it went really, really well. They asked me all about stuff that I do with my campaigns and all the things that I do back home and how I feel about like plastic and uh, what alternatives we could use instead. So I'm, I'm very happy with my interview. I'm really excited. I can't wait. Um, we've been doing rehearsals for the past few days and it's been really, really enjoyable learning the dances and meeting the rest of the, the groups as well because uh, since we're all split up into different groups, it's nice to be able to get a chance to meet with the other girls also and find out about their advocacies and find out about um, what they want to promote as well for the environment so it's just nice to speak with everyone so yeah thank you so much i'm fine i want to say thanks for everything every people who support me my question was a little bit difficult for me because they asked me many things about um, my country politics mm -hmm. In particular, the immigration ones well, is one of the most um, problems in my country during this day. But I try to answer well, and also they um, t uh, asked me some question about the circular economy and the company, and I try to answer as well as possible. So I feel excited because I want to see the next mixer. I want to good luck every girl in this pageant because everyone deserves it. But also a little bit sad because I have to say goodbye to all my friends. If you will win, um, you will be staying here in the Philippines. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> for, for the period is necessary, yeah, period, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I love Philippines, in particular for the people like you. 
because they are so warm and so friendly. Mm. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I it's was one, of, being, yeah. it's one of the my trip eco tour eco tour my in Manai, Manai. Manai. Yeah, Manai. Manai. Manai for three what days. What particular place that? Manai um, is near Davao. Ah, Davao. in Davao. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. It's um it's a city in which we have done some activities for cleaning the beach, so something uh, eco friendly, uh, eco sustainable. Uh, I love this place for the tradition, in particular. Uh, so these are for the coronation night. So I'm excited, but a little bit sad because I want to. I don't want to say goodbye to the <laughs> Philippines and to my my friends. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I was so nervous before, but you have to learn to not be nervous because it's just you go out. It's just like a normal conversation. And it's the normal things that you know in an everyday life. Yeah. Favorite place? Visit, yeah. Definitely Palawan. Palawan is such a beautiful place and I would definitely be visiting again. Um, I've already told my family and friends that we have to one day come again here. And uh, I went to Bislig and it's such a beautiful place. The people are so welcoming, the greenery, the way they, they have the organic, um, everything organized. It's such, such a nice place and it, it was always stay in my heart. Yeah, thank you so much. I feel good because I did it. I'm excited for my fans. It's so warm people and uh, um, we she would me happy thank you so much really excitement and i speak up uh, i try to explain them what my country is my country is small but really beautiful we had amazing nature i try to explain them how do we live how do i influence my people and how could i maybe help to influence our future generations through my work in my country and of course during the traveling around the world. Uh, yeah. Do you think? I was, I'm very happy with the results of my Q and A session. I am very happy. I gave all the answers I would give. Uh, I could speak my heart out of the judges, so I'm very happy for that. Coronation night. Yeah. I'm most of all very excited that I can be part of the coronation night. I saw the coronation night of last year where Faith Lamon also was competing as Miss World Netherlands, and I. I think she did a great job reaching the top eight. I hope I can do a great job like her too, but we will see it on a coronation night. But I'm very excited. Actually, my interview was very fast, I would say, but I'm proud that I could, I'm very happy that I could say about my, my advocacy, I could say about the first station, because the first station for future is my advocacy. And also I could say about um, religion in Poland and how strong in religion we are. So I think it was very informative and yeah, I think I did quite well. I'm happy about myself. I, I, are you, I knew very nervous, but when I sat on the Miss Earth chair, I knew that this is the moment I have to enjoy, I have to do my best. So I was no longer stressed, I would say.